you had a chance to watch the English language debate last night. How do you think your leader, Stefan Dion, did? I think he did really well. I think how he came across is exactly how he is in, in real life. He's got a lot of integrity. He cares a lot about Canada. He wants to get a plan as soon as he gets into to office and get a plan going. And, and he's, he's, he's a very courteous gentleman. So he's not like Jack Layton, you know, interrupting and interrupting and goading. Whether he's got that bulldog spirit. Frankly, I don't want a bulldog as a leader. Frankly, I don't want a bulldog as a leader. Frankly, I don't want a bulldog as a leader. There's one thing we haven't mentioned today, and that is the NDP don't have a candidate in this riding. And that's too bad because no matter what you think of that the person, he actually did, was able to offer some strong points, especially on electoral reform. There are often, there are people in this riding now who might have been inclined to vote NDP and now have no home. And that's too bad. But it, what it does do is those people who are inclined to vote NDP, please don't stay at home because you actually have extraordinary power now in this election. NDP votes can affect the outcome of this election. The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Please note, the new number is...